Let's have a flex battle. Ah, Flexing. Yeah. Ah. So Ken, our trucks are quite a bit different. I have the Raptor and you have? The 2016 Power Wagon. That's right. And you have a front axle with a disconnecting sway bar. Right. Actually, I'm curious what happens with the disconnect and without it. Right, just to see if it helps a lot, because you know, it's a rock climbing thing. So right. now it's a trailer climbing thing. We have two very capable factory off-road trucks. This one has a factory winch. We've got a aftermarket winch on here. This is mono beam. This is independent on the front. This has a coil spring rear suspension. This has a leaf spring rear suspension. This disconnects the front anti-sway bar. So this is, you know, made for that kind of articulation. This is more of a, you know, go out and jump the sand dunes kind of a truck. We're using a 16 and a half degree ramp. Both trucks climb the ramp until one wheel lifts off the ground. When that happens, we measure the distance traveled up the ramp. All right, let's do the first run in the uh, power wagon. I can't see if you give a me a stretch. more. There's some kind of mirror in my more. way. Okay, stop. Okay, there you are. Hang in there for a second. I'll try. <laughs> now this is 65 inches. Okay. 65 inches up the ramp. Well, cool. All I right, let's back down. Okay. <laughs> okay, go a little further. I'm starting to slide sideways a little. A little more. A little more. How's my front tire? My front tire on the ice? Uh, a little. There, you're barely touching. Okay, stop. That is about 88 inches. More? So you That's are 65. Okay. It's at least like 23 to uh, 24 inches. Well, that's cool, because right on top of the ramp, I could feel the ice and the truck started low, slow sliding to the left. So that's a big difference. Oh, that is. I mean, ramp. this is a pretty good sized rock you can jump on top of. <laughs> All right, well, let's try the Raptor, shall we? Sure. Okay. I'll hold you. Okay, you're backing down? You're you going to hold me? <laughs> I just think like I'm slipping to the left. No, you're doing Am okay. Am I still okay on the ramp? Well, I'm in low range, so I have more control. This is dramatically wider than the power wagon. I mean, I don't know how many inches it is. I know it's a few, but I had to move way over to fit on this trailer. Okay, nice. So we'll see if that wide track helps. hi Silver! Go straight. Well, that's your idea of straight. Am I touching go, go, something? Go. Am I touching something? I heard something scrape. No, you're looking good. Okay. A little more. Feeling a little wobbly. We are at 76 inches, and I think you have a few couple more inches to go. Okay, that's what she said. A little more. Yes. Okay, stop. I'm digging in. Stop. Yeah, I'm losing traction. So, One so, tire's spinning. Yeah, this tire is basically just off the air. Oh. <laughs> we're still touching. Yeah, it feels a little wobbly. I can feel I'm moving around up here. Okay. I'm ready so to throw it in reverse. Stay right there. <laughs> okay. We had 88 inches for the uh, power wagon with disconnect, right? Right. We are at about 80 inches. Wow. Well, that's pretty close. The rear axle is articulating quite a bit right now. Yeah, I imagine there's a lot of room under the fender there. Yeah. But this one, you know, it's amazing how much wider this is. So it's actually very, you know, you'd think it'd be more stable, but it also seems to be able to, to move more, rock a little more. But okay. so we're with, with that articulate, the uh, sway bar disconnected on the, on the ram yeah. wagon. What's the difference between our, our, the distance up the, the ramp? The, the highest distance was about eight inches. Okay. So power wagon was 88 up the ramp. Uh huh. And this is about 80 to 81. Okay, well, seven inches. And yeah. That, yeah, I mean, that's 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 pretty good for not being all disconnected. This is independent front and end. An independent front. So it does move around quite a bit. Yeah. You know, versus a mono beam solid axle. So yeah, that's impressive. Okay. 
So Kent, what did we learn in this crazy exercise? We learned that these capable off-road trucks can really articulate. They can climb over giant things. The disconnecting front sway bar and the power wagon actually did something, right? It, oh, it, it did. It flex quite a lot exactly. more. Exactly. Tipped that solid axle, move around a lot, and then that locking front differential helped too. So it was pretty cool. And the Raptor did better than I expected though, with yes. the independent front suspension. It did. It went up further than I thought. And it wasn't that far behind the other, behind the, the, the Ram, but it, it was wider and it seemed like it flexed more in the front. We, it wobbled around a little more. Come back for more flex. <laughs> suspension battles and of course all kinds of truck reviews on the fast lane truck and mrtruck.com that was fun what's the most off-road worthy truck you can buy now if i were designing a truck to be very off-road worthy i'd probably make it very tall give it front and rear locking diffs meaty axles perhaps wrangler dirt track tires throw in a factory installed winch for good options how about a 6.4 liter hemi I'd call that truck a power wagon. And coming up right now in the fast lane truck, we're gonna find out just how off-road worthy this power wagon is by taking it up a snowy gold mine hill.